space just there. And then we're going to make up the leg just to support that corner when the bed's gone down. And then to save having a sharp edge on the top, we're going to do the radius. So yeah! Likes me but hates Harry. Just a little update. We decided a bit last minute that we we're going to have a 240 hookup point. Um, it wasn't until I, can, I discovered that you can actually hook these up, install them underneath the bonnet. So, so we didn't want to have a horrible little flap sticking out on the side. So that's on there. We took it through the same route as the split charge, just through there, into the front cab. So brought it down through here and then I rooted it under the passenger seat, past all the ledge battery, around the back of the fridge and we installed a consumer unit along with our 12 volt fuse box. In the consumer unit we have, it's just a garage consumer unit, it's got a 32 amp which you're going to be running everything off. So when we hook up we'll have our refrigerator, um, 12 volt refrigerator for when we're a bit off grid. And then we've got another 12 volt socket this side, um, just for when it's nice we can hopefully like cook outside because we want to get a induction hob 
<coughs> we have another 240 plug socket up there to cook in our nice new kitchen area. We've also got a double USB socket here and also a USB with a USB type C socket here and it, it helps out because we can tell which voltage we've got on the battery. So yeah, got our fan, that all now works, that's all wired in and we've got one more just at the front or at the back, just the effects, which again is just another USB with a USB type C as well. So yeah. So we're doing Harry's favourite job today. He's been looking forward to this day for a very long time. A bit of varnishing, a bit of painting, with his Christmas socks on. Are you excited Harry? Yeah, I can't wait. So Harry started the matching, which we're having all the way down here. Yeah. The other two at the back of the door, put some lizard arms on. We've done it most evenings and all weekends and we're basically finished we're getting finished so yeah Um, this is all 
removable as well so you can unscrew some bits and then it all just comes out same with that side so all of this can be used as a van as well as a camper van so you can use it for so many different things you can just take these chairs out if you want to put some bikes in here or something um, so there's a lot of room and a lot of space and a lot of storage so we're really happy with our final layout what we also have is storage at the back here like I said we will fit for ready to go to a festival but we can put our camping chairs under the Murphy bed which just slide in there so we've got two in there got a load of space here that we can put shoes and bits and pieces and then we've got all of our van bits that we've got with the van but this bit does lift up um, so you can access it another way as well and like I said earlier all of this part is removable um, so when you want you can just unscrew it and then it can be used as a normal van to put bikes in or someone's moving house help them out type of thing so yeah, I'm really, really happy with the outcome.